this shit. Shout out to Progress Report. Because, you know, I may not have um, passed, but I'm always passed. And I'm above an A. So, shit, figure out that love. <laughs> the Progress Report. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Lala Chepard, checking in. And this is the Progress Report. And tonight, I got my very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Drug rich peso, man. You know what's going on, drug rich shit. Word. Um, first I gotta ask you, are you a model? No, I ain't no model. I ain't no model. <laughs> I, I, um, I do a lot of uh, a modeling, um, street modeling for, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My, uh, my boys are, uh, you know, just fuck with them, just designing, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm my own stylist, but I got a couple of stylists, you know, like Bari and my boy Keith and a couple of more people, so, mm -hmm. you know, just, I don't want them all to but I will if I have to. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Now, uh, we did an interview about, it's been about, like, two years since we did our first interview, and I remember then, um, that's when you was first starting out doing music. Um, so what has changed since that time for you? Progress. Mm -hmm. you know, just, uh, a lot of work and dedication and ambition and you know just being real and just humble and catching vibes from other rappers and you know learning as I go you know just just try to you know out even like nobody perfect but I just try to perfect the crowd so mm -hmm. you know it's just progress like right. every day like like back to back like, right Definitely. I see you in here working with my man, Chris Beats. Um, but yeah, so now talk about music. What does it mean for you? What does it do for you? Like my boy Future said, I love this music with a passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, I, I love this music. Like, it, it make my mind just, like, I ain't gonna lie. When I go in the booth, I just blank. Like, I just, like, scrape off the top, like. I can't talk about other people, but I know what I rap be real, you feel me? So, like, it just, I feel all my music, you know what I'm saying? And I and I drop a lot of music, and all the fans always go, drop, drop, drop. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'd rather just let them just hear this, you know, good, 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 good sauce, you know what I'm saying? And so, when I drop, it's just like, a, like a boom. Like, it's going to be like, yeah, mm -hmm. you did it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just wait on mm -hmm. okay now um discuss having a fan base uh and you're you're not signed to any major label or anything like that and that's the one thing that i feel like a lot of people have a hard time doing is building a fan base but you are already a step ahead of the curve because you've been had a fan base where there was you know from the looks or just buying into your whole imagery and everything else like that let alone the music so discuss having a fan base well, I love all my fans first off and you know, I, I, I never doubted um that whole like lifestyle with it because I already know what it come with because like you said, like like it's fans before rap, you know what I'm saying? It's fans that you know from the bottom from when you was doing whatever yeah. uh, and it's fans, you know, who just love your music and never met you but a die hard for you, you know what I'm saying? And, so it's just all support for all fans and like, you know what I'm saying, I, I meet people who have names, they IG, drug rich, whatever, you know what I'm saying, hey, you know what I'm saying, if you feel drug rich, you drug rich, you know what I'm saying, it's all love from the big homie, you know what I'm saying, now, now of course, um, of course, it's, it's a lot of, um, people out there that's drug rich, whatever, like, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't really, like, see me me with them or in videos and all that, like, they not draw rich as far as, like, my label. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, so, yeah, like, the fans, like, I love the fact that they support it. Even mm -hmm. though I even, may not have a chance to even see them or get in the video, they still draw rich. You know right. what I'm saying? So, that's, like, it just, it just grew with the, with the movement and the believing and the, mm -hmm. and the power behind it and the, motivation and all that. Right. So how would you describe the music industry? Oh, um, well I describe it as like in my in my eyes, mm -hmm. like fun and like regular, 
in my lifestyle because of what I'm used to. Mm, and what that's what I, you're saying. What okay. I do, so it's like, you know, just, like, it's part of life with me. Like, I, I wasn't expecting it to be music as far as rapping, but, you know, I expected it to just be life like that anyways. But mm. it just came with music, and so it was just natural anyway. So, like, you know. You mean the lifestyle? Yeah, the lifestyle. Okay. Man. I love all my rap friends. Like we, we got good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like we, we go back to back and mm -hmm. and even if we haven't even made music, you know what I'm saying? It still just was it's just still our love, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, cause it ain't even about the music, it's about the vibe and the energy, right. you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. like you never like beg or nothing, like people know you as being real, then you right. just gotta be real. You can't let be real and then turn fake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem with people, you know what I'm saying? If people turn real be be acting real, then they go fake, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that's how you just get dealt out the out the circle in life and we just move forward. True. And, um, and I feel the industry is like, um excuse me, but I feel like the industry is like full of like like people who who feel feel they they kind of position in a way like it's just over everything and whatever say so like don't have heart or care you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying i feel like the industry is is filled with that and that's not just real like if we in this we in this together like let's all just make music and be happy you know right. what i'm saying like and get this money like like if you're a killer you don't got to prove your point you're a killer you feel me if you if you whatever you you don't got to prove your point or whatever it's gonna show you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and we in music you know what i'm saying so then that, that's what the path come with and if it has to end like that then it ends like that you know what i'm saying so right. i feel like the industry is feel like fake shit like that definitely because i was gonna ask you about longevity too i feel like see like this is one of the most perfect times to be an entrepreneur or a musician in my opinion just because we do have the social media to help push our agendas faster and you can keep it organic but still you know display the lifestyle um and i feel like unfortunately a lot of rappers are people that that are older than you know this generation um they got to do anything they can just to keep up with the times you know what i mean and yeah, sometimes yeah. it means compromising you know your whole self i guess you know what i mean so just talk about longevity and what you plan to do to stay focused and being true to yourself like you said like money change a lot of people and it's a difference when you haven't had it mm. or had or haven't seen it or or don't understand it like it's a different when you it's like from wearing target clothes to going to Neiman Marcus like mm -hmm. you're not going to buy anything that matches like it, it just don't fit like you, you you can go try and as hard as you can like you go give a bum like two thousand dollars and you go take them Linux and go make them pick an outfit I, I bet you it don't match because mm -hmm. you can just, it's just natural like so certain I, I, I don't like I'm, I'm trying to go and yeah, um businesses and you know what I'm saying I'm straight by money so like if it's about money I'm hopping on it like I ain't worried about going to buy jewelry and all that like I've been having change I've been spending 20s and 30s and 10s and mm -hmm. light paperwork you know what I'm saying like in my business that's like you know what I'm saying and so route just my choice of just uh recreation absolutely yeah. I like how you put that though I mean you can definitely tell that you are a businessman and like you said if you experienced something before then there's no need to you know, go crazy and, and go, just do the most. Yeah, um, hey, dumb and wild. That's how you go broke. That's how you right. Go, Spending belonging. unnecessarily, yeah. yeah you belong in his hands. Mm -hmm. You're right. Um, now, talk about, just go back off of uh, just entrepreneurship and realizing that you, di that you did have to boss up um, in the music side of things and just learning the game and learning yourself and learning your surroundings and everything, so... When did that kind of change for you in your mindset? Watching and learning. And you just can't be scared to boss up. Like, you just can't, cannot be scared to. Like, that's just, that's just how life go. Mm -hmm. And once you see certain shit, and you learn certain shit, certain shit happen. That's the saying I've like, heard. And I listened and did all that. And watched it and learned and I know mm -hmm. so okay 
So what would you say is a rapper's role in society? Do good for the community. Make sure all, every young person love your music, even though, like, the publicity and all that, they try to, um, like, the news people try to say, like, because we did a performance that we uh, had negative words and mm -hmm. all that. Like, I don't mean no harm to no, no child. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I love children. Like, I, I do anything for a whole, whole bunch of children. Like, I've been buying an ice cream truck out, like, since I was, was a little boy. Like, for everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because, like, when eat, we all eat. And I like to see everybody happy. So, positive energy. Like, like it just had me mad that they had did that about me, about me being a musician. And it's like a lot of other people that got negative songs that come and get paid major money to do whatever, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I did this off my heart, you know what I'm saying? Off of a volunteer, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, of course it was like a little bit of, you know, money involved, but still, like, I didn't mean no harm, but like, like, because I, I love the children, and I want them to look at me like, even though my, my name may mean certain things and stuff, or mm -hmm. people look at me because I got tattoos on my face, and I'm Muslim, and a lot of stuff, it just be, yeah, like, I don't know, like, it's no reason to be scared. Like all energy is energy. Like when you see me, you can just understand. When you feel my vibe, when you when you push up on me and you with me, you already know. Like from the energy, so it's like like kids. Like I gotta just do this for them too, mm -hmm. cause they look up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you do, and I don't try to be a bad influence. Like. Even though I got a gun on my lap, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be a bad influence. That's just my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, hey, do this. I'm not like everybody mm -hmm. else. I didn't say, hey, I tell a kid, like, hey, man, I put this in the back one time. Mm -hmm. But guess what, though? If he's smart enough, he going to know. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he going to know that I'm not, nah, I, I don't go and I ain't, I ain't trying to die. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to mean no harm, but hey, that's just me. I'm myself. Mm -hmm. But I want the kids to understand that and... So, you know what I'm saying? They like me for my energy and my music, and no matter what I say, because I'm rappers, rappers. Like I said, I, I say it and I mean it and I live it, but at the same time, I still say it to have fun with it and still turn up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's my life and I love it. Mm -hmm. and I want them to love it. Right. So. Um, do you feel that there will ever be a time where uh, prejudices and uh, racism and, and stuff like that won't exist? Hmm. It's never gonna be like that. It ain't, it, it ain't even their fault. They raised like that. True. You get raised like that. The baby, we, we raise a baby and if we just teach him to say how I was by and by was high, he knows that. Mm -hmm. It's not his fault. That's what he was taught. Mm -hmm. The brain already, like, that's how the brain works once it's already in there, it's in there. Say, like, well, how we know a thing? Mm -hmm. So. True. Um, now, on a lighter note, <laughs> what about hair care? How do you take care of your hair? got expensive conditioners and shampoo or whatever, but I like you know, Pantene and shit, I just wash it. Okay. Dang on. So, you know, I just don't cut my hair, period. I just get, you know, you know face, facials and hairline and then I just I try to uh, not make it be nappy, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. somebody just get the naps out. Right. Okay. Might break. Right. I feel like uh, with a lot of people, um, especially people that don't look like us, it's kind of hard for them to normalize with us, if that's a word. You know what I mean? So that's why I asked you that. Like, you know, it's like questions like that. I feel like, I know whenever I'm in a grocery store or something, I at least see like maybe three white women that ask, can they feel my hair? You know what I mean? So I can only imagine what they probably do to you with you being a guy with hair, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie, people be scared to walk up on me and say something. I'm sure they are, but that's why I <laughs> asked you if you think 
like we can ever get past the look like what do you think people see when they see you I get all the time that even if they didn't know I was a rapper, I look like one. So, mm-hmm. before rap, man, rap, and now, so, I'm a rapper. I look like a rapper. <laughs> True. I, I am your favorite rapper. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, back to rap, to music. Now, you got a couple of mixtapes out there. So, with this upcoming project, are we thinking EP, album? Yeah, both of them. But I am thinking yeah, Both of them, but... Mm-hmm. They told me. <laughs> so Put we can Richie expect the Zay. Yeah, all that. Man, reach yourself. And, mm-hmm. and all that good, good type shit going on. But okay. So we just waiting. Okay. So what else is next for you? I can't know my next move. They got to see it. I gotta see it. You gotta see the part where. <laughs> you right. Yeah. <laughs> well, let them know your social media information. My Instagram is at Drug Rich Peso. Make sure you cross the C out and put the X on there. You know what I'm saying? Can't forget that. Mm-hmm. Twitter, Drug Rich underscore Peso. And that's it. All the other stuff I don't got. Or, the, or I don't have. You ain't on Snap? Yeah. Okay. Snapchat for the group. You know, uh, the one of these. And the Damn. How'd you use social media? All that shit. But it's a social media platform. Yeah, I'm a rapper. I, I did. Right. I love all my fans. I told them I wasn't going to follow me. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But y'all, being real with y'all, don't believe the hype.